We put the house on the market the Thursday before Labor Day, and we were under contract the following Tuesday. The Opiellas are a sign of a recovering housing market. They bought their two-bedroom, one-and-a-half bath row house in D.C.'s Capitol Hill area for $355,000 in 2009. Do you love living in Capitol Hill? Yeah. Now they're selling. We were originally thinking of listing maybe around 430, 440, something like that. And after our original meeting with the realtor, he suggested 469, which at first I was a little bit worried about because I thought maybe it would scare people away. So we went ahead, went ahead and listed, listed at that level. It turned out to be the right thing to do. Hungry buyers came knocking. Maybe 30, 35 people came through total for one three hour open house, which was pretty amazing. And then we had That's a lot of traffic. We had probably seven or eight other scheduled appointments over a four or five day period. Yeah, people come by, saw the sign, just wanted to come and see the place. So it was there was a lot of people looking for houses in this area. The, the market has been great this fall. Things are absolutely outstanding. Open houses are very busy. There's buyers out there getting a lot of internet response to listings, um, getting a lot of calls on listings and things are moving fast. The latest housing headlines show improving builder confidence, rising sales and prices, and record low mortgage rates. Uh, housing is coming back to life. But don't break out the bubbly just yet. Home prices aren't expected to return to their peak until 2023. There are three million loans that are in foreclosure or they're very late and likely to go into foreclosure. That's a lot of loans. There's 49 and a half million people with mortgages. In some markets across the country, it's still a, a big problem. But for those in the market, it's fabulous time for buyers and refinancers. For the first time in six, seven years, sellers you know, do have some leverage in the negotiations. Prices are rising uh, and they don't have to cut their price like they did before. Here's what buyers need. You're going to need good credit. You're going to need proof of income and you're going to need some money in the form of a down payment. As for the OPLs, they're looking to sell for a profit and they hope their next selling experience is similar. So it's always going to be like this going forward, right? <laughs> Christine Romans, CNN, New York.